In this video, we'll be exploring the concepts of exact match, phrase match, and broad match data in Market Samurai. Specifically, we'll be looking at the difference between exact, phrase, and broad match data, why we use broad match data as a default for SEO traffic, and how to use the match type settings in Market Samurai as a crystal ball to look into your business future. Let's begin by taking a look at Market Samurai so that you know exactly what I'm going to be talking about. I'll just set up a quick example using the term trout fishing. And to get started, I'll access the Keyword Research module, click the Generate Keywords button, and in just a few minutes, I'll have a list of keyword suggestions. Now to explore this list in more detail, I'll come down here and click the Keyword Analysis button. I can already see the information we'll be focusing on here, so for this demonstration, I won't need to click the Analyze Keywords button to collect additional data. You'll notice the SEO traffic value listed here for the phrase trout fishing. Just to recap, this is the estimated maximum number of clicks that the number one ranked site in Google could potentially receive over the period you've selected in this drop down here. The focus of this video is this drop down box over here, which specifies match type. You'll notice that the drop down box contains three different options broad, phrase, and exact. The default option is broad match, so the SEO traffic value associated with the phrase trout fishing is the one we're seeing now. However, if I change the match type to phrase match, the SEO traffic value drops. And if I change the match type to exact match, the SEO traffic value drops again. Now clearly, there's a big difference in potential visitors a day between these three values. So let's take a look at what the numbers actually mean. Let's start with the exact match type. With the match type set to exact match, the SEO traffic figure relates to how many people are typing in the exact term trout fishing into Google and then clicking through to visit the number one ranked site in the search results. In this example, with my match type set to exact, I can see how many people per day are typing the exact phrase trout fishing into Google and then choosing to visit the top ranked website. Now let's consider what happens when we set the match type to phrase match. When we set the match type to phrase match, the SEO figure now relates to how many people are searching for a phrase containing the words trout fishing in this specific word order. For example, this would include people searching for phrases such as trout fishing or trout fishing tips or rods for trout fishing or even New Zealand trout fishing vacations and also many other variations. So in this example, when I set my match type to phrase match, I can see that considerably more people per day are searching for a phrase that contains the words trout fishing in that order, along with some other keywords. Now finally, let's take a look at the broad match type. This time, the SEO traffic figure relates to how many people are searching for a phrase containing the words trout and fishing in any word order along with additional words. This would include phrases such as trout fishing or trout fishing tips or fly fishing for trout or fishing for trout from a boat and many other variations. This time the two words trout and fishing do not have to be in the right order. So with match type set to broad, I can see that quite a few people per day are searching for a phrase that contains the word trout and fishing in any order along with other keywords. Now you may be wondering why Market Samurai uses the broad match value as a default. 
In order to understand this, we need to take a quick look at how Google rankings develop over time. When you first create a website and let Google know about it, Google sends out an automated robot called a Googlebot or Spider to examine your website. The Googlebot examines the content on your page and the number and type of links that point to your site and then ranks your site for particular keyword phrases that it sees as relevant. Let's imagine that you continue to add good quality content to your website and manage to obtain links from a few websites. The next time the Googlebot visits your site, it will repeat its analysis and give you a new rank for particular keyword phrases. The important thing to understand here is that you achieve different rankings over time as your site grows and develops more authority. You usually start with exact match rankings. Then, as you add content and obtain links, you obtain phrase match rankings. And finally, as your site develops more authority, you obtain broad match rankings. Coming back to Market Samurai, what this means is that the match type provides us with a way to look into the future almost as though we had a crystal ball. For example, if I set the match type to exact, I get an estimate of the traffic I would receive if I obtained a top ranking for the specific keyword trout fishing. I can then look further into the future by setting the match type to phrase match. This gives me an estimate of the traffic I could receive if my site develops sufficient authority to obtain rankings for phrases related to trout fishing. And finally, I can set the match type to broad match to obtain an insight into the amount of traffic I might obtain in the long term if I was able to obtain a top ranking in the broad match search results for this keyword. So another way to think of the different match types is that the exact match type equals the short-term traffic potential of a particular keyword, while the phrase match type equals the medium-term traffic potential, and the broad match type equals the long-term traffic potential. The reason that we use broad match as a default is because most people use this information to assess the long-term feasibility of creating a business in a particular niche. When you're trying to decide whether or not a particular niche is worth targeting, the most relevant traffic factor is the long-term traffic potential of the keywords you're exploring. By assessing the long-term traffic potential in conjunction with other factors such as commerciality, you can then decide whether or not it is worth putting in the time and effort necessary to move forward with your business idea. So let's just quickly recap what we've covered in this video. We've seen that exact match data relates to how many people are searching for a specific keyword phrase, such as trout fishing. Phrase match data, on the other hand, relates to how many people are searching for a keyword phrase in a specific word order that may include other keywords. Some examples were trout fishing or perhaps trout fishing tips. Also, we saw that broad match data relates to how many people are searching for keywords in any order that may be included with other keywords, such as trout fishing, trout fishing tips, rods for trout fishing, fishing lures for trout, fly fishing for trout, and many others. We then saw that we can use the different match types, much like a crystal ball, to look into our business future and assess the short-term, medium-term, and long-term traffic potential of our keywords. And finally, we saw that Market Samurai uses broad match data as a default for SEO traffic because this gives us the most useful information for assessing the long-term viability of an online business.